welcome back to another crock pot video. I am super excited for a few reasons. One, I need to get dinner started. We need something for dinner. It's been such a crazy week. And I went through my pantry and I was like, okay, what can I put in my crock pot to put on keep warm and not necessarily cook because to me a crock pot's for convenience it doesn't necessarily mean that i have to cook something all day so i'm going to throw together something it's going to take less than five minutes i'm going to put it in the crock pot put it on keep warm and then we'll have dinner tonight when we get home it'll take me like eight minutes to finish perfect one step ahead my future self always thanks me for my past self thinking of her Yours will too. Anyways, I hope you really like this. It's super budget friendly, really easy. You can throw it together and just stick it on keep warm like I'm about to and you'll have dinner ready for your family when you get home from a busy day. For me, this saves us from me running through the drive-thru or ordering DoorDash on my way home from work when I know I have a super busy night and I have nothing ready to go because I haven't had time to meal prep this week. I don't have any dinner ready to go. So in the few minutes that I have during nap time, this thing saves my life for busy days. This is what I'm gonna throw together and I hope you guys will be encouraged and inspired to do the same in your own house. By the way, this is another budget video. In total, this is $8.50 worth of ingredients. Obviously, you can make it a ton cheaper. I am also going to throw in some seasoning and some onions that I just took out of the freezer about 10 minutes ago, so they're like a little bit thawed. But let's go over ingredients. So obviously onion seasoning I'm not including because they're already on hand, but it's like 25 cents worth of onion. Seasonings, I don't conclude in every single video. So we have the Boca Burgers, which were $4. I also had a coupon and I forgot to use the coupon. Oh well, it's okay, I'll use it next time. The Newman's Own were two for three. I thought that was a great deal. Never tried it before. I think it's gonna be great because I love their dressings. The protein pasta by Barilla is going to amp up the protein to this recipe. I believe it's going to be like 25 grams of protein per serving, even more if you have more pasta. Anyways, this is making four servings. It's going to end up being $2 a serving because I paid $2 for the pasta. It was on sale. A little more expensive than regular pasta, but having that extra protein is really important for us. So four little ingredients, technically three. I don't, I don't know. The onions just like don't count to because they're left over and in the in the uh, freezer, so I'm not including them towards the cost. About $2 per serving, which I'm super happy with. That's a super inexpensive dinner. Saves me a lot of money compared to ordering in and door dashing tonight. So let's spend about 10 minutes throwing this together and we'll have dinner tonight. Sometimes, I will be honest, on super busy days, I am the girl that's like, you know what? I'm gonna run through the drive-thru. We're gonna order takeout. We're gonna door dash because I don't have time. Otherwise, I'll just like eat a yogurt or a cheese stick or make a protein shake and that is just not enough dinner for my lifestyle. <laughs> it's just not. It's not for my husband either. So I'm so thankful when I think ahead and I don't always film every single time I make these types of meals, but I should start to just to, in case you guys need an idea, if you're in a pinch, if you're super busy and you're like, the last thing I want to do with my bandwidth right now is cook a dinner. Maybe I can help you out because I have so much bandwidth left. Like you could put a piece of paper. That's how much bandwidth I have left. I'm like pinching my fingers to show you. You can barely squeeze a piece of paper through it. Anyways, I put the Boca Burgers in the pan with the onions. I just need to cook them before putting them in the crock pot, just like you would like a, a beef, I guess. Um, it's been so long since I cooked that, I don't even know. <laughs> and then I went ahead and put the pasta sauce with two extra jars of water because once you throw the pasta in you want some liquid for that to cook i also made this really spicy added a lot of chili flakes some basil and then a little bit of salt just to amp up the flavor it was super spicy those chili flakes really really hit definitely needed some extra seasoning again because i added the water so i really diluted it going back to the pan once the Boca burgers and onions were all cooked up they just threw them in the crock pot that's it so simple. All right, let me ask you this. Comment down below if you have been watching Hulu's number one show that was released on Friday, last Friday. Secret Lives of Mormon Wives is definitely nothing like the title says. It's definitely about like TikTok and influencers. And let me know if you've tuned into it. I'm actually really, really curious because I've been watching a lot of things over on TikTok and Instagram about people that have watched it. And I'm just curious if my audience has watched it. I did. Um, I watched all of it. <laughs> One thing with having a baby is when you have to feed them, you have to sit down for the most part. So I just tune in and watch something because otherwise, like my brain just goes a hundred miles an hour. So I kind of need to shut down a little bit while I'm doing so. So I'd be curious if you've watched it. Okay. Got my Boca burger and onion all cooked up and I'm throwing it into my crock pot. 
It's feeling like fall here, guys. It was 97 degrees today. We're getting hit with some wildfire smoke coming in from California. So if you're in California, I'm thinking of you. I'm so sorry if you're dealing with that or if you're having a lot of smoke like in the Reno area. I see you. It sucks. It looked like nighttime here at 10 a.m. this morning. It was wild. It was absolutely crazy. It was so smoky this morning. I worked out and I have been working out at 3.30 in the morning before I go to work Monday through Friday, but I did not open my garage door to like let fresh air in. I really enjoy that in the morning and I just didn't do it. And it was so hot in my garage. <laughs> For once I was like, ooh, it's like a sauna in here. <laughs> Had the fan on. The garage is semi-climate controlled, not 100%, but it was a little hot this morning. Anyways, we got the crock pot going. We got the baby taking a nap. We are having the most perfect afternoon being crunched on time. I put this on warm. I actually couldn't figure this out for a second, so I'm just adding this in here. I was like, wait, do I, did I do it right? Did I do it right? Yes. You have to make sure so you don't come home when your crock pot's cold because I don't know if I've ever done the keep warm setting before. All right, came back five hours later. It was basically boiling. Love that because I knew the noodles were going to cook fast. I ended up only adding half the noodles because my husband called and said he wasn't going to make it home for dinner. And I thought, you know what? Then I'm just going to make this meal prep and I'm just going to make it into four servings. And I just added half the pasta. Just personal preference. I didn't personally want all that pasta. I knew my husband would because it would fill him up. So 15 minutes later, we got the pasta all cooked. And look at this. It was so good. I call it goulash because I'm from the Midwest. I grew up in Minnesota, so this is called goulash. My husband said, what is that? I said, you grew up calling it hot dish. I call it goulash. <laughs> so I'd love to know down below, what do you guys call it? Again, it definitely does have like a very like uh, meat eaters look to it, but it's 100% plant-based. It's actually 100% vegan if you don't add any cheese or cream cheese or cream or anything to it because the noodles, the Boca burgers, the onions, sauce, everything... And super high in protein. I think I I tallied it. It was 27 grams of protein per serving with just the four servings of pasta. And it ended up being two large cups of food per serving. I was really happy with that. I went ahead and just portioned out the leftovers since I said my husband wasn't coming home this day. I thought, you know what? If you're not me home for a little bit, I'm not going to leave it in the crock pot because those noodles are going to disintegrate and then turn into nothing. So once you get them out, once they're cooked, you get them out of the crock pot, you cool them down. They're good to go. They reheat really well. And uh, portion them out. So I had three portions left over. He did end up eating two of them when he got home way later, but we didn't have disintegrated noodles. So thumbs up for that. I had a portion and then I have one left over that I can take with me for lunch the next day. So even though I didn't meal prep, even though I didn't have the time to do all those things this week, hey... I could have doubled this had I had more Boca burgers and uh, had some extra meals for the week. So I was really happy with that. Cleanup is super easy. Obviously, I just had to do a few things. You see more dishes sit out because I had more dishes to do from my post-workout shake, the pan from the Boca burgers, onions, super easy cleanup. I was really happy with this. Have some meals ready for, you know, a one meal left over. And uh, we really enjoyed it. Thumbs up for me. Thank you so much as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon in a new one. Bye.